visualize the layers of knowledge you've already accumulated? In the activities you've just done, you pretty much had to reach a point where you know the gender of nouns without thinking, first layer, know automatically how to form the accusative and the dative, second layer, and then, the layer we're currently working on, decide between location and direction. And in forming these sentences from scratch, you would have had to get the verb endings right, know the articles, the personal pronouns, etc., layer upon layer. Do you remember how difficult these tasks used to be? Well, this just goes to show how progress is made in small steps, how quickly you've been learning, really, and most importantly, how seemingly difficult tasks become second nature in a very short time. Our task now is to internalize the two-way prepositions and save you from having to think too much when you want to describe where something is or say where you want to put something. And it's even better, of course, if we can do this in a fun way. Let's start very playfully indeed. Zehn kleine Unterschiede Here you see two sets of photos. The first pair is of Beat's study. The second is his kitchen. In each pair, there are ten small differences between the two pictures. We'll give you larger versions of the pictures in a moment, so don't strain your eyes. We realize that you don't yet have the vocabulary to describe these pictures, so we've given you a word list for each set. Even then, it's quite tricky, so we've given you sentences to work with. Your task is to complete the sentences by filling in the missing articles. You'll have to look closely at the photos to see if the sentences refer to the first or second photo. As you're talking about location, use the dative case. Diem for masculine and neuter nouns, and dear for feminine nouns. Once you're familiar with the vocabulary, work without looking at the sentences we've given you. If you've got a friend with you, do it as a competition, or, alternatively, the two of you take one set of photos each and then communicate the differences to each other in German. Viel Glück! Oh, and before I forget, if you're getting desperate, the solutions can be found in the pod basket. Welche Unordnung? What a mess! Does your house or room get messy sometimes to a point where you just have to tidy up? Well, mine does, and I'll give you a small insight into the state that it's currently in. Horrible, isn't it? I clearly need help, and that's where you come in. I'll tell you where my things go in English, and you tell me where you put them in German. Again, we've given you a vocab list and sentences to complete to get you started. Use the specialized German to put verbs and consult the pod basket if you get desperate. Watch out for the verb stecken, to put something into a confined space or in between two things. Remember to contract the preposition and article if you can. Aufs Bett, ins Buch. Afterwards you can get on with tidying up your own mess, let's hope you have one, and write down in German where you're putting your things. Well, on with the job. The trousers go in the cupboard. The blanket goes on the bed. The shoes go under the chair. The books go on the bookshelf. The candle goes behind the oil lamp. The jumper goes on the chair. The CDs go on the bookshelf. The pillow goes on the bed. The bookmark goes in the book. The tissues go beside the lamp. Mystery drawing. This game is best done with somebody else, so arrange your time with your learning buddy. One of you has to draw an object in a certain location, for example a book on a table, plus an arrow that goes either that way, indicating a direction, or that way, indicating a location. Depending on the arrow, your partner now has to say either Das Buch liegt auf dem Tisch, or Ich lege das Buch auf den Tisch. Alternatively, you could also imitate the two noises from Activity 3 to indicate direction or location. You can also play the game the other way around. You say a sentence, and your partner then has to draw the corresponding picture. You can easily use cartoon techniques to indicate whether somebody handles an object or whether the object is stationary, or use arrows noises if your drawing skills are limited. Man ist, was man ist. Have you heard that saying before? 
Well, people can be characterized in all sorts of ways. You are what you eat. People look like their pets. Your personality shines through in unexpected places. One area that says a lot about who you are is your home environment. So why don't you describe your study area to your learning partner? You can create a fictional environment for yourself if you'd rather, of course, but maybe you should let your partner know. Anyway, in doing so, you could also discuss the best thing about your setup and what you find problematic or would like to replace or move around. You'll find that you need a lot of two-way prepositions and the German to put verbs to do this. So now to work. Have fun. Also jetzt geht's los. An die Arbeit. Viel Spaß dabei.